More on the independent council's investigation of that power abuse scandal. Korea's current culture minister and a former presidential chief of staff are being questioned as suspects for their alleged involvement in blacklisting cultural figures deemed critical of the government. Hwang Jun, give us the updates. The parking lot in front of the independent council office was packed with reporters and protesters on Tuesday morning, all hoping to catch a glimpse of Kim Gi-chun, the former presidential chief of staff, and Cho yun son the current culture minister, as they arrived. Both were grilled as suspects on allegations of perjury and abuse of power. They are suspected of being involved in the creation of a blacklist of about 1,000 cultural figures deemed critical of the government, including author Han Gang, the winner of the Man Booker International Prize in 2016, and filmmaker Park chan who won the grand prize at the Cannes Film Festival in 2004. The list was intended to prevent those on it from receiving state support and sponsorship. Kim Gi-chun, who held his post at the presidential office from August 2013 to February 2015, allegedly orchestrated the creation of the blacklist starting in 2014. Culture Minister Cho Yun-son, who previously served as the presidential secretary for political affairs from June 2014 to May 2015, was allegedly in charge of actually generating the list and handing it over to the culture ministry. Both have continued to deny the allegations. During the Independent Council's afternoon briefing, spokesperson Lee Gu Chul said the team is considering in-person interrogations and the possible arrest of both Kim and Cho. We expect to decide whether to request preliminary arrest warrants after our interrogation of Kim Gi Chun and Cho Yun Sun. The Independent Council has previously said blacklisting is a serious constitutional violation that infringes on the freedom of expression. The special team is also investigating whether President Park was involved in the creation of the list. The spokesperson said the team is hoping to question President Park in person by early February at the latest, though he said no specific date has been set yet. Hwang Wojun, Arirang News.